Hey everyone, it's Dave for Gamers on Games. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about how lore in wargaming doesn't matter as much as you think. As you are all very well aware, recently we've had a flare-up regarding lore and lore discussions when it came to uh, Warhammer 40k and the introduction of female custodes. And on this channel specifically, I've been seeing a lot of conflagration when it came to discussing the Pride Anthology for Battletech. And it's very interesting how people who are very focused on lore and all the backstory seem to think that there is no game without the lore. And I started thinking back to when I first started getting into wargaming, mainly through Battletech as my first introductory point to the concept. Uh, how little lore really mattered to me back then. It was giant robots beating the snot out of each other. I didn't care about which faction had access to what mech or, uh, you know, who did what and what year and all that kind of stuff. And even as I started exploring Warhammer, I really didn't care about the Imperium of Man and the fact that it was a completely, you know, fascist theocratic autocracy. I didn't care about the space communists, which really aren't even communists, of the Tau, because, you know, with uh, communism, you don't have a class system, and they very much do. They have a very rigid class system, nonetheless. But on and on down the line. So, for me, when it came to Warhammer, it was all about what was cool. Same thing with Battletech. Hey, I like this mech because this mech is awesome and I like the way that it plays. I like being able to shoot the big guns and do the big damage. That kind of thing. So it's very interesting that, especially in recent years, the focus on how important the lore is seems to trump everything else. It trumps game mechanics, it trumps price points, all this sort of stuff. And I have no idea why we have gone down this road. I don't know if it's a case of the lore has become a test point and checkpoint for gatekeepers. I don't know if it's a case of the narrative has shifted away from things that traditionally didn't need a whole lot of backstory, like historicals. You know what happened. You were there. We have history books, you know. Uh, you don't have to build up a lot of lore. You can say, hey, okay, we're going to play uh, Pegasus Bridge. This happened on this date. This was kind of the setup of why this even had to happen. You know, the rest is in the history books if you want to go into it. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> here you go. Allies versus Axis. That sort of concept. So I'm wondering if it's a case of the gatekeepers need something to use as a purity test, and they're using the lore as that purity test checkpoint. I would love to know what you guys all think. Again, uh, comment section is, as always, is always open, and I would love to know your thoughts. That being said, Dave out.